These are the headwaters of large river systems. Looking out on these desert landscapes, it's pretty dry, except for where the creeks are. That is the lifeblood for all of these areas. We're on Muddy Creek in Wyoming. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, that's the best place to be, right? This beautiful habitat for native trout and non-trout. We're in decades long work on Muddy Creek. Muddy Creek, it has a long history of folks traveling through this area. It has the Bridger Pass and the Overland Trail. This is the place where they got water. From then, until probably the early 70s. It was overgrazed, a lot of beavers were trapped out. It really started down cutting and losing a lot of the riparian areas. We're working to extend the beaver colonies that are existing here in Muddy Creek. Not just Trout Unlimited, but Wyoming Game and Fish Department, BLM, private landowners, a host of different project partners. These funds Trout Unlimited got from BLM through the bipartisan infrastructure bill has given us an opportunity to do a lot of good things and get it to that next level. Most of that money is going to our field staff and working on restoration projects. We had started these projects already, but they were relatively small, isolated areas. Here we're talking funding sufficient enough to bring all of that together, bring all the partners together and truly do a landscape level restoration project. That's pretty rare to be able to do that. But BLM, as does TU, recognizes that all of that work is for nothing if we don't have anybody to carry it on into the future. And so they wanted to have a youth initiative with the program. So we started this program to bring kids out to our restoration sites, give them hands-on experience, expose them to different career paths, whether it's working with the scientists or it's like me, working with youth ed, or you want to be in communications. It becomes really personal for them to get out here and participate in these projects. Kids from all over the country come out here and rough it out in the middle of nowhere and build beaver dam analogs, go fishing. It's like a beaver. <laughs> We're essentially mimicking a beaver. We're pounding a handful of posts across the stream channel and then getting willows, aspen, whatever's kind of handy, just like the beavers would do. Beaver dam analogs, they're essentially the starter kit for the beavers to hopefully pick and choose the ones they want. They're holding water higher in the system for a longer period of time, creates cleaner, colder water. It's gonna hold that snow melt for a longer period of time in the stream banks and release it over time. So when there is a drought, there's these little pockets that can be squeezed. We're very fortunate that we get to work in these headwater systems in these high desert areas in Wyoming. These are some of the last strongholds for our native fish species, such as Colorado River cutthroat trout, flannel mouse sucker, bluehead sucker. There's just not anywhere left for them. So that's why it is so important that we do these projects for those ecosystems all of the wildlife, all of the local communities. Rely on that water and rely on it to be cold and clean and sustainable. When I started working for Trout Unlimited, we didn't have children yet. But as time progressed and my passion evolved, um, I became a mother. And really knowing that the work that we're doing is lasting for generations and is impactful for our local community, for our kids, it's just, it's incredibly fulfilling to get to do this work every day. This work needs to go on for a long time, way past you and I. And if we're not teaching upcoming generations about the value and importance of open landscapes, of riparian habitat, of the value it provides for wildlife and for people, then we're, we're missing the boat. Ultimate goal is to have beavers move in and actually take over the maintenance and then be there for decades. About 75% of all vertebrates rely on riparian land at some point in their life. So it's a really important landscape and habitat to maintain. We 
we have an added responsibility in Wyoming to make sure that we are providing cold, clean, healthy river systems so that people downstream can use it as well. And it'll be neat to see in future generations as people come back and see the growth and expansion of the riparian habitat. If you're passionate about the outdoors, conservation, and, and fly fishing like we are, you totally got to get involved. 